I'm Brian Posehn. You may know me from my stand-up comedy or from the TV shows I've been on, like the Sarah Silverman program. I love comic books, metal, and anything nerdy, except furries. They're gross. But that does include Dungeons & Dragons, which I've been playing with the same group of my funny friends for a decade now. So we decided to record us playing the game and turn it into a podcast, and we call it... Nerd Poker Dungeons & Dragons with Brian Posehn and Fred. Blaine! Ken! Sarah! Sark! Don't forget Jerry! Hey, it's Brian Posehn, and you're listening to... Nerd Poker, Dungeons and Dragons with Brian Posehn and friends. Hey, friends. Hey, Hi, Brian. Hey, Brian Posehn. Hi. Hi. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. No Jerry Duggan. No. No Mr. Sark. No. No Ken Daly. We've got Steve instead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Steve What's up, Steve? Hello. Good to be back. And Sarah and Blaine. Hey, it's me, Blaine. <laughs> and me, Sarah. All right. That's all the time we have. Thanks for listening, you guys. Uh, no donors. Let's just jump in. Let's play. We fucked up one giant red dude, and we were about to fuck up another one. Let's kill this guy. He was guy. running into the forest, and how uh, we fucked him up. Was he running? Is or? he running from he us? He stumbling. No. Oh, no, he yeah. stumbled. Uh, he was stumbling. He was trying to attack you guys. But oh, he so was, he's uh, still pissed at us. Yeah. He's not he's, trying uh, to get uh, away. He's, he's taken a few hits. He took some hits from uh, uh, from some magic missiles from Winter. We but need, also from his friend's kneecap. Yeah, his friend's kneecap. I, his yeah. Buddy. I tell a kinesis into his head. Yeah, so uh, uh, in our last episode, in our last episode of Nerd Poker, uh, the two giants that were attacking our friends in the trees, uh, 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 Brian or Dag took a frost brand and uh, lopped the dudes, uh, the guy with a bow and arrow, lopped his knees, kneecaps off. Uh. Uh, then Lyra took one of the kneecaps with her ring of telekinesis and drove it uh, frisbee style into the other giant, uh, the back of his head, sending him kind of into the woods, uh, 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 like woo hoo yahoo. And uh, Winter uh, just avoided getting stabbed and killed. So close. And uh, nobody knows where Dag is because, or uh, Hug is because he's invisible. So there's a uh, there's a dead giant on the ground. Brian uh, Dag went in and lopped his face off. Uh, John Travolta or Nick Cage style, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, and then um, that's it. So the uh, the other giant is sort of gaining regaining his footing. He's tr- he turns around and he sees all three of you. So uh, uh, let's roll for initiative on this one. How about a six sided? Who wants to roll it? I'm gonna Brian. say uh, let's let Dag do it. Three. Three. Oh my god, damn. Yeah. All right. So uh, this guy comes back and uh, uh, he, uh, uh, the first thing he sees is, uh, uh, is winter. So he comes over and uh, uh, this uh, starts walking towards you and, uh, uh, Raises his sword up over his head. He's got a weird smile on his face, Again. and he's he's very <laughs> pissed off. So uh, let's try this new dice rolling tray. Oh, Jesus! All right. So uh, he lifts the sword up uh, uh, to come down and uh, just kind of cut you in half, Winter. And uh, all of a sudden, there's a weird uh, and a smell of ozone. And uh, uh, he uh, kind of like he's getting tased, and uh, and uh, Winter, you look down to see Hug, uh, just hugging the guy's ankle with his shocking grasp, and there's just weird conduits of electricity coming out of his hands and going up the guy's legs. Mm-hmm. So uh, the guy's kind of seized up for a second. So uh, uh, he drops his sword, and uh, he takes a few points of damage. Yeah, not bad. So anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, he's not dead, but he did drop his sword and he's stunned for a round. What do you want to do? Fucking finish him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna attack him with my. Um, I. I can't. I can't backstab. Right. So. You can't backstab. So I'm just gonna front stab him with my short sword. All right. Uh, how how what's what's the size ratio here? Like, wh- where does my head come to on his body? Well, you're. L- let's say you're five ten. All right, or six feet tall. Let's say you're six feet tall. Okay. Uh, uh, he's twenty. Downgrade. He's twenty feet tall. Oh. What's that like oh, being six feet tall? <laughs> that's weird. 
I'm okay, serious. so he's really tall. Okay. Yeah, he's three times taller. People than don't you. think you're a monster anymore. Nope. Even if he were your size, he they would don't be cower when I. If he were by. three, if he were uh, as big as you, Steve. Yeah. He would be three times your size. Okay. What? Oh no. <clears throat> so. Okay, so I'm gonna. Um, All right, Lyra's gonna take a shot. Yeah, with my short sword. Eleven. All right, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, roll for damage on a short sword. Okay, I have one d eight uh, for against large. Uh, okay, cool. Do it. Ugh, two. Two points. Every little point counts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lyra goes up, takes a slice at this dude uh, 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 across his uh, lower abdomen. It's a, uh, not a super deep wound, but there's a lot of blood going on. So if he's got any sort of uh, giant blood diseases, maybe you have them now, too. Oh, All right, so uh, Dag's pulling up the frost brown. Well, I didn't have any open wounds. Yep. Yeah, so it's not like... Keep your eyes and mouths closed. <laughs> yeah. <Just> mouths. <laughs> Keep both your mouths closed. Closed Teen. every... <laughs> All right, so roll a... Uh, 16. Roll a... 16. 1d6 plus 1 plus 6. Oh. All right. Uh, one plus one is two plus six is eight. Yep. Uh, uh, so there's a weird, uh, uh, there's a weird, sh- this refreshing frost brand swing. Uh, and there's like a weird sort of like crystallizing flavor burst. Mm-hmm. Everybody feels cool and refreshed. He bites a New York peppermint pen. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, uh there's a weird sort of a, uh, his sword. Your sword cuts through the uh, the front of this guy's stomach, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, instead of organs spilling out all over the place, there's just sort of a weird crunch as you as your frost brand freezes all his organs on the way through. Mm. Uh, the guy kind of uh, falls over. I'm going to see. There's a little chance he might fall on someone. Let's see if that happens. That would be funny. No. All right. It didn't happen though. Uh, he falls forward in the woods. He's dead. So uh, nice, yeah. nice guys. Now let's grab his genitals. Hi. <laughs> let's go in. Not for, again. Let's finish this party. <laughs> All right. So you have two dead red giants in front of you. Uh, My you dead, could, redemption. Dead, dead red d- uh, redemption. Dead red redemption. Dead. Dead. <laughs> uh, they are. Uh, you can the sun is the sun is coming up. It's starting to uh, dawn is kind of breaking where you guys are. Uh, if you look out on the water, you can see that the uh, the boat that these guys came from is sort of uh, uh, still slowly moving in range. You can see it. You can see guys moving around on the deck, and uh, also coming from the uh, coming from the where the city is, you see a couple more little smokestack trails of these fast moving boats. So uh, oh, we uh, it looks stay like stay here. Yeah. So I wasn't here Can't a few weeks home. ago when you guys were making your plans about where you were headed. I think you said you were headed to a city, right, when this all happened, Brian? Mm-hmm. Towards the Red City? Yeah. Yes. There's a city you can see where these ships mm-hmm. are coming from. It's kind of across a weird harbor or so an inlet or something. So is that still the plan? I don't know. I mean, yeah. we keep fucking up red dudes. Uh, well, you do remember th- at us. that the guy that, uh, the guy that you killed – Told you that uh, you need to get across the water over onto the blue side. Oh yeah, and then make your way west towards the. Uh, That's what we're trying to do. Towards Gold Tip. Yes. Oh okay. So, because uh, uh, if you keep moving west on this side of the continent, he sort of implied that you head into a desert and then uh, into some sort of weird blackness. So we just need to cross the river, or well, r- the river is sort of like a. Uh, at this point, it's sort of like a sea, like a. Like where you guys came into the continent, where the 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 the, the weird minarets were and the mm-hmm. weird fortress was, that was almost like the Strait of Gibraltar. Mm-hmm. So it's we the can't sea see is, the other side. Yeah, it's getting wider and wider as you head west. But so there are giant jet skis, right? There are giant jet skis, but they're they're pretty big. Okay. Yeah, you guys. I think the plan was uh, you guys were trying to get to the city to try to find like a dinghy or some sort of small boat that you could. <laughs> That you could power or maybe get, you know, like a hit a kid's toy store and get some baby jet skis or something and or stow away on a ship or How do many something. people are left on the ship that these two dudes came off of? 
Uh, you saw there were two dudes or three dudes uh, left that you can see. Probably one driving and a couple of guys on the deck. Because maybe maybe screw. we could just try to take that ship. It's still out there. You can see it. If since we already killed two of them, that's two down, three to go. So we'll take one of their jet skis and try to go out there. Do you what? think we can operate it? It might be too big, but it, I, th- I assume if we lure them into shore. Yeah, I assumed if we went down there or s- sent some kind of. Uh, you know, if if uh, Hug relearns Phantasmal Force and then does something to lure them in, you know, we may be able to. Uh, yeah, because they can't see what happened to their friends yet, right? Right. Uh, I just feel yeah. like our odds are better here. I mean, they're they're pretty good here if if we've already taken out two of them, right? What if we what if we launch one of their heads at their ship? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> like, How using, shocking would that using be? Using Ken's, you know, hoping Ken. that they. Abandoned ship, <laughs> like Cloverfield just style. Like, no, just like we we killed one of your guys. Come get us, you know. I think they'd probably they might just go get reinforcements though, right? That's what I would do if the head of one of my. That's fucking funny. <laughs> we could just row one of their bodies out there That's to meet true. them. What you mean, like use it as a kayak? That's exactly what I mean. Contiki Blaine. style kayak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kayak. Uh, you tell me. I feel like Phantasmal Force, if we think of a good one, a good thing for him to do, you know, like a what's the best situation for us? What is something that will get them to actually dock and or to injure themselves? <laughs> a hot red lady. <laughs> <laughs> you Bugs Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. dressed up like it's like a rabbit yeah. lipstick and a bad wig. Yeah. Hey, hubba, sailors. Hubba. Hey, sailors. It's like why'd they make it a rabbit? <laughs> Just because it's weird, instead of making it a weird <laughs> giant, a hot giant. giant. Like a rabbit, a giant outfit. Um, well, I guess we could just do one of the guys motioning them to shore, like indicating that they needed to come ashore. It's so funny. The, I'm still having it launching ahead oh. of their boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could. Didn't we do that with the fish in barrels? We like threw their bodies at their yeah, cohort. Yeah, seems like something. Yeah. <laughs> Sure, seems like something we'd do. <laughs> oh, and you have those grenades too. Oh yeah. No, and you, if you had like your ring of telekinesis, you could maybe fire those grenades, sort of like uh, munitions. Well, we don't want to damage the boat because we're going to take it, right? Yeah. I say that I say the best uh, bet is to have them try to get them to dock without without suspecting anything's wrong. So they're not going to call anyone else. They're not going to, you know. And then we just uh, murder them. Guys, <laughs> I, I I agree. Sorry, Brian just took one of his five month energy drinks. <laughs> He's making a face like it was poison. Like it's lemon, it's straight lemon shit. juice. It's the worst shit. You look like you're listening to Is Joe there an Satriani. Is there a way to get caffeine in you? Yeah, but not like this. I guess it's a little small. I mean, it actually works. I wouldn't do it if it didn't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how are we going to get these guys to dock, to pull into shore? Um, well, what about the guy, what about one of them waving them in? I mean, that seems non-threatening. <laughs> like, what does he say? Hey, guys, they got a cheese plate up here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like cheese? The other giants are out in the boat going, I'd say his accent's changed remarkably <laughs> since he's been on shore. Wow. Well. I think there can't be any sound with Phantasmal Force. It's not right, drawback. Right. So mm. now's your time to make so, a Phantasmal Force of Phil Collins. Am I t- am I right? <laughs> a lot of pointing and yeah. Well, just ch- I mean, he's on shore anyway, or like yeah. he could be far enough back. I don't know. Just a thought. Someone else can uh, you know feel free I to like have your that. own thoughts. I like that. Yeah. All right. Let's try it. So here's what happens. You guys, uh, uh, I'm going to say that you wait uh, a good ten minutes. And you guys sit down and you relearn your spells. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before this happens, I need to set a trap on wherever they're going to come using my set uh, snares proficiency. Okay. Okay. While you're getting, while you're setting this trap, mm-hmm. uh, you're still winded from this fight. You guys got kind of fucked up. You fell out of two trees. So, uh, <laughs> how is that even possible? Yeah. And you rolled a, a one, odds? two, three. So, uh, uh, so Steve is uh, uh, still a little injured. His ribs kind of hurt. 
uh, but he is uh, sitting down and kind of uh, dealing with it, and you're relearning your spider spell and your, uh, uh, your your magic missile. So you'll have magic missile at the end of this break. Okay. Um, uh, Ken uh, sits down to uh, uh, relearn his uh, uh, shock and grasp spell, and he can throw up the uh, the phantasmal force when you guys are ready. So uh, uh, that's it. Anything else? Any other preparations? Uh, well, the snares. That snares I'm from you. And yeah. Dag is just a... Uh, what was that guy's name that did the, the stunt show that he jumped from? Uh, I can't Kennedy. remember that fucking guy's name. Uh, I thought it was Martin Carlton, but I I, I can't find it. It was so fucked up. Oh, I'm having second thoughts. Yeah, have him. <laughs> yeah, I think that was him. I think it was the Martin Carlton stunt special. I think Martin that's Carlton. what it was called. Uh, anyway, uh... Yeah, Google it if you can. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's. Uh... All right. So uh, 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 a few minutes go by. You see this uh, uh, this boat sort of uh, puttering by in a weird sort of uh, uh, recon uh, speed out in the the water. It comes in. You can see a few guys moving around on the deck. A little PT boat size, like Apocalypse Now kind of size. So, but it's uh, bright red and. Uh, you guys get over. You set up some traps, Lyra. Uh, Dag is just sort of getting a weird uh, gonna kill stuff boner, and uh, uh, you, uh, Dag and Winter, you sort of stand up, and Dag uh, closes his spell book, and he whips up this weird, does a weird hug, hoo ha, whoa, uh, hug, hug. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, hug, hug Dunning. Uh, he does sort of a weird uh, Charles Fleischer Mo leads thing with his hands. And uh, you see this uh, giant sort of come into being that looks like the giant that you just killed. Uh, uh, and this giant sort of uh, walks awkwardly like it's a giant hug, like walks out onto the beach and uh, starts going, you hoo sailor, sort of waving at this. Well, doing a, okay. <laughs> I think I mean, he's doing more of a like, more of a like, hey, come to, you know. Yeah, but I mean, it's just, it, it's. <laughs> It's just a giant hug, so I'm just doing a giant hug. Oh, he can't. No, he can control it, right? Like yeah, a, but I mean, it's still him. Come on, so, to the coast. I just don't want this to fail because. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good time. Uh, all right, so uh, starts uh, just feeding his baby and went, "What the fuck? What just happened?" Uh, nothing going on. Boat still kind of, still kind of. Do they see him? I don't know. You keep it going for another round. Uh, this giant, you know, doing everything, kind of like hiking his skirt up, doop bop, ba doop bop, doing weird stuff. Uh, a couple of rounds go by, and you're starting to get a little worried. You're thinking maybe the the illusion can't be seen. It's maybe it's too early. Uh, but uh, when you're thinking that, there's a, a the sun comes over a, a hill as it's getting uh, higher in the sky. Uh, it gets a little brighter, and uh, maybe there's a glint of something off of this illusion. And you see a matching glint of somebody noticing off in the boat, off in the distance. So uh, you see some pointing, you hear some very, very faint shouting. And uh, the boat starts to... Uh, so it's coming in towards the, the shore. Okay, Lyra's hiding going to try to hide in shadows while they approach, so she's ready. All right. Don't know what you guys are doing. My hide and shadows percentage is 20%. So. Why don't you roll some uh, percentile dice? I will. Let's see what happens. I was going to roll some percentiles. <laughs> <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. All right. So you are, it's it's just maybe dawn, maybe it's a morning light, maybe you're not used to it. You're a thief, you're not a morning thief. So uh, you try to do something, but you just kind of settle for hiding behind a tree. Cool. But nothing special. Uh, uh, nothing I can do till they get close. You can just kind of hang out, I guess. Yeah. So uh, you see this boat kind of a uh, cruise in uh, winter. Anything? I'll climb up into a tree. And wait. <laughs> Didn't you learn your lesson with the two that you <laughs> fell out of already? I like falling. You're chopped out of, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you can see it uh, actually better than anybody else, but uh, 
You see the uh, this boat kind of uh, cruise in really close. Like uh, you could probably wade out. It would be a, maybe chest deep water or whatever. There's maybe a sandbar or something. But this boat comes in really close, and you see uh, you see one of the giants with a weird kind of a telescope, kind of scanning the shore. And uh, uh, there's one kind of driving this weird the boat. He's in a weird sort of uh, 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 control thing on top. And there's another one. Uh, and he's uh, uh, the other one is behind a weird sort of a thing that's mounted onto the side of the uh, side of the boat. Looks like not like a machine gun. You don't know, know, know what a machine gun is. Kind of turret. Yeah, some kind of weird turret. Hmm. It's not the the funny kind of turret that makes you yell "fuck" in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not getting a, they're not getting out of the boat. Uh, never get out of the, the goddamn boat. Ooh. Uh, it's impossible for me to wing a grenade from here, but... Uh, you know what? If you gave one to Lyra, she could probably telekinesis one. Uh, you couldn't throw one if they're waist deep. That's got to be pretty close, right? That's still... Uh, uh, it's still one of those things where uh, if you telekinesed it, it would be like a rifle shot. Yeah, if you threw it, it would be like a grenade. I just wonder how many like charges this ring has or whatever. Is it just constant that I can use it? I think it's also? a ring of telekinesis. Oh, okay. Here, take two of these. Okay. <laughs> Call me in the morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Call me after the murders. <laughs> so she swallows them. What a <laughs> <laughs> Not that smart. Uh, okay, do you want to, uh, what do you want to do? Who's doing what? Well, I guess I'm. Uh, I want her to. Yeah. Try to fuck those dudes up. I guess I'm. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't. I was just trying to again see exactly how the. Uh, you know. But yeah, it's so basically it's just gonna. Um, I can move it above. Uh, hey, uh, well we're figuring just, out what our range is. Twenty feet is. per uh, round. Uh, Twenty feet per round. We're gonna take a little bit of a break, and we'll be right back with a little more uh, ABC's Wild World of Sports. And we're back. So I'm reading the, um, or I'm thinking and reading, but uh, more about. Uh, That's good. I wish more kids would think while they it's hard read. Hard to do at the same time, um, but uh, it looks like I can I can manipulate objects telekinetically. So I was wondering, like maybe could I? Would it be possible for me to turn the the gun around? And like pull the trigger and just murder everyone on the ship. Uh, what's the what's the range on your uh, five miles? Ah, well, if that's uh, the case, let's see. Range is ten yards per level. Ten yards per level. So you are level four. So forty yards. I would say that they are more than a football field out there. Oh well, then I won't be able to use it to get the uh, things there. Well, either. you could get it. I mean, you could shoot it at them with your with the ring. I mean, if you're trying to actually the like distance, do the distance is up to directly away from myself at up to ten feet per level. So I, I mean, if you, if you're if or maybe this in this world that works fine. I'm totally. I'm not gonna. I say it's not like once it hits the range limit, it's gonna fall. It's gonna right. You gotta lob it, <coughs> arc it. <clears throat> Okay. Well, however, however it works, then in this world, I, uh, I go ahead and I do that. So why don't you, uh, why don't you roll a a twenty sided to attack, and uh, uh, I will uh, apply uh, some minuses as they apply. Probably should have given this ring to someone else to do then. For oh god, sorry. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, you hear a weird, and uh, this grenade sort of floats in your palm for a second, and then you kind of point at the ship, and uh, and this thing just sort of is just zips away into the distance. Uh, this thing uh, lands. You don't really see it land. It doesn't. You don't even really know what happens, but. Uh, all of a sudden, there is a huge detonation right in the uh, right in the middle of the ship, underneath where the dude with the 
the the turret was. Uh, let's see if it does any damage to this guy. Uh, this guy uh, sort of gets knocked off, and uh, he uh, you hear him scream. Uh, he kind of grabs his side a little bit, and uh, you see him jump back behind this turret and try to get control of it again. So, and uh, uh, you hear the other two giants kind of uh, 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 s- they start screaming at each other or yelling back and forth. And the dude with the uh, with the telescope is looking and is kind of pointing in the general direction of where you guys are. He didn't see anyone, but he just sort of like can the um, can the working. phantasmal force guy start to motion them directly in and like point away from us? Do you know what I'm saying? What you mean, like uh, can the red giant be like? I, you know, point away from where we are, but motion to the ship, like, come in closer or like whatever. I, like, okay. Uh, so uh, uh, you see Hug kind of uh, behind a tree, and he's just thinking really hard. And uh, uh, this uh, the giant that's waving to these guys is uh, uh, starts to kind of, like, look up the coastline a little bit and point, and he's pointing at the ship going, I see them, I see them, I see them, come this way. So he's sort of gesturing. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, the ship kind of uh, doesn't move immediately, uh, but you do see the uh, the dude jump behind the turret, and uh, uh, he kind of points this thing towards where you guys are, and uh, all of a sudden this flamethrower just comes and uh, just sweeps the beach. So uh, everybody, roll a dexterity check. Past. <laughs> Try to get Not it on the table, close. Steve. Steve failed yeah. his Steve by rolling it off the table. Roll it on the ceiling. All Tw- right, twelve. Twelve. Oh, shit. Do we know what? Uh, Mine went by your feet, Steve. Winter's yeah. Winter's Dex is probably above twelve. Yes. Uh, winter's fine. Yeah, over. Yeah. Was that over? Yep. All right. So uh, uh, here's what happens. This uh, this this wall of flame kind of uh, uh, sweeps up the beach. Uh, it looks like they don't really know where you are, but they're just sort of doing a doing a big pass. Uh, the flames go uh, uh, in front of where this uh, the fake giant is pointing. And uh, uh, it just happens to uh, to Nick Bryan, and uh, and also Nick Rhodes from Duran Duran. Uh, Boo! <laughs> may I should go with Nick Cave. So uh, or Nick Swordson, our friend. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I sat in some gum. Oh, so uh, so uh, uh, you take a point of damage, and you also uh, go. God damn it! What the fuck? I sat in some gum is what Nick Swordson says to you before he shows you his balls. Yeah. Yeah, it's like when uh, Samuel L. Jackson, before he kills you, he says that Bible quote. Uh-huh. Nick Swarson shows you, shows you his balls. Yep. So what happens to me? I, I, uh, I you take a, a little... you take a point of uh, fire damage, or you just kind of get burned and singed a little bit. But you also give away your position. The other thing that that they notice when the uh, the fire sweeps through this uh, uh, across the beach is that the uh, the giant that's waving and pointing is not affected. But they were just willing to burn him. Uh, they sort of notice, uh, uh, accidentally, maybe, uh, the way the ship is kind of rocking in the water or something, that the fire, uh, sweeps through the giant and doesn't really hit him. Hmm. Okay, well, what happens next? Uh, that's it. They took a sweep with the, uh, uh, with that, uh, flamethrower. Okay. So uh, you see the uh, uh, you hear a weird chung 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 chung. The engine kind of kicks up. You see a little more smoke kick out, and uh, uh, the dude that's uh, driving it kind of does a weird. He's uh, kind of making a hard. Are they closer? Yeah, the, it looks like they're gonna kind of uh, uh, try to make a little turn and come in a little closer than they were. Are they close enough for me to try to control the the gun now? Uh, no, not yet. If I run down. Yeah, if you ran out of the woods like towards them and got close to them, they, you could probably do that. But then they would see you and be able to take a shot at you as you got into position. 
Should I fire a magic missile at uh, one of these dudes? Uh, if you want to, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think so. Which one? Or just in general? Who I don't want to. I don't want to sink the boat. Yeah, I would say either the guy with the turret or the guy who's driving the boat. Either one of those, probably. There's yeah, the, yeah, those two. Uh, There's three guys. Guy with a guy with a telescope. Guy driving. Guy with the uh, the flamethrower. Guy, uh, let's do the guy, the flamethrower guy. All right. Uh, so you hear a, uh, uh, I love, I love peanut butter sandwiches. And all of a sudden, uh, these, uh, uh, it's, it's the count. Yeah. Uh, uh, these magic missiles sort of uh, zip out of the tree where you were hiding. Uh, and uh, you see him just sort of do a tracer thing out to this boat. Uh, and they uh, uh, thup, 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 right into the uh, the turret. So roll for damage. Oh, what is damage? Six. Yeah. Four. Six, six sides. Six sided. Oh, I'm sorry, four sided. Four sided. There's, yeah. So it's five. Plus, so that's eight total. Five plus eight. No, no, so it's eight total, sorry. And then it's, tw- it's 12 oh. total. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, uh, you see this. <laughs> ah, motherfucker. Uh, they, uh, they just kind of light up this dude that's uh, uh, standing behind the, uh, the gun on this thing. So uh, uh, that's it. That's your, that's your move. Anything else? Anything no, you no, guys would? Yeah. Oh, I'm, well, so, I'm sorry. Would, that's winter. What yeah. was the risk again of, of me blowing the horn of blasting twice in one day? Uh, 10%. Should I do it, you guys? Yeah. Yes. I will die if it if I, okay. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking blast this horn. Okay. At these bitches. We ready? Do it. I do it. All right. You're fine. Uh, you just hear the uh, uh, the beautiful uh, lilting sounds of Kenny G oh, floating wait. out over the Kenny G. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, maybe she pressed uh, fast forward. All right. Maybe it's maybe it's a mix horn. So maybe uh, it's Baker Street. Yeah, Baker Street would be go? nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you realize uh, after a couple a of new notes, one. <laughs> you realize that it's not that it's not Chuck People Mangione. It's not Kenny G. It's actually Baker Street. Right. By uh, uh, Jerry Rafferty. By Jerry Rafferty. <sighs> and the Beaver Brown Band. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, what happens? Do they hurt them? Oh, uh, roll for some damage. Have you heard that song before? <laughs> what? That's terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, everyone knows that. Even I know that one. Um, I'm sorry. I'm looking for damage. Do, do I have that? Or do Is you that it for Jerry Rafferty? I think so. I think he might have had another one. Oh, uh, uh, he also did uh, uh, right down the line. He twist and shout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have the damage for this. Can you? Uh, a cone of sound, 120 feet long, 30 feet long. No, because he didn't sing. Feet wide too, at the right? end. Was, yeah, he did sing. Uh, oh, he did. Yeah. Okay, I have to roll a saving throw for these guys. Uh, saving throw versus. Fighters for a spell. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna roll a thing. That guy made it. That guy made it. That guy didn't make it. Uh, which guy didn't make it? Ah. So uh, the guy that you were, uh, the guy behind the uh, the turret. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the. You see the guy that's driving doesn't seem to be affected. You see him kind of they, – they sort of shake. The boat kind of tips back a little bit. Uh, uh, you see the guy behind the gun sort of fall. He gets blasted back against the uh, the deck a little bit and falls down. Uh, I risked my life for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It was like listening to an unpleasant – Tune. Hey, roll a uh, roll percentile of the dice and tell me what you get. What two, now? I haven't even yeah. risked my life yet. Now you're yeah. making me do it. Two tenths out Oh god, is this for that? Is this my? I don't know. I don't oh know what it's god. for. Oh god. Oh god. 
Oh my god. What was it? Um, eight percent. Oh, that's good. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, you see that uh, uh, that below the uh, right where that you knock the guy into the deck, mm-hmm. you see that. Uh, You see a magical hole open in the side of the ship as the, as the wood and timbers are blown inward from the force of your magical note. No, we needed the ship to be okay. Oh, we destroyed the ship? With, here we go. Here Baker we go. <laughs> That's a great way to take out a ship, man. <laughs> That's a sexy way to take out a ship. I just think this With is a little the, yacht that, rock. that music, yacht rock. that talk radio guy, the the uh, De- G- Dave Ramsey. This is what opens his show. Is it? That's all I've, yeah, I've heard that on the radio. That's the only time I've ever heard it on the radio. I think. I'm Dave Ramsey, and you're listening to Baker Street <laughs> from city to city. <laughs> it's a call of there. Hello, <laughs> you're listening to Baker Street. The station that's devoted to Baker Street by Jerry Rafferty. You're on the air live. Well, oh I guess I broke the ship, didn't kill the, any of the guys. Did the ship break? What happened to the ship? Uh, Did we sink it? Uh, here's what happened is uh, the dude, uh, uh, she hit the thing basically broadside. Uh, she knocked the dude back that was on the flamethrower. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, you noticed that uh, it just kind of blew a hole in the side of the ship. It hasn't started sinking yet, but it, there's a huge hole in the side of the ship. Okay. You also see smoke. Above water? Above water. Okay. You also see smoke starting to pour out of this hole because it looks like it might have gone into where the uh, the engine or the motor is. Well, who saw that coming? None of us, let's be honest. Mm, yeah, well, there's a chance that was I wasn't happen. that concerned about taking their ship. I really want them dead first. Uh, so. All right. I thought that was I'm the whole point. I'm not that disappointed. No, it, w- it, it would have been great <laughs> to take the ship. <laughs> oh, hey, roll a... Uh, but I also... Uh, roll a, t- a ten-sided two for damage on the guy that you stunned. By the way. All right, this better be motherfucking worth it. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> uh, okay, cool. All right, but it, it was it was worth it. You botched your damage. One. Uh, anyway, so uh, so anyway, Let's that's take a quick break. One more. All right, sure. Last one. Break. And we're back. Jesus, Steve, what'd you say to Sarah? I just said it. You really fucked up that ship and blew our chances of getting off this side of the water. God, I went to pee and take a shit and jack off and have some Taco Bell, and then I came back. And it was a Sarah's long time. Gone. And plus, she keyed your car. <laughs> yeah. And she spray painted, fuck you, Brian. I'm so sick of your bullshit on your car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then she keyed what she painted. <laughs> Damn, she, she was pissed off. It was weird. I don't know. And then she gave you all those gift certificates for Amoeba. It all turned around. Oh, oh sorry. Spoiler alert. Oh, you'll find them. Um, all right. And we're back. Sarah did have to leave. Yeah, she but got she this, loves this. all. She loves all of you guys. She got the Sarah signal. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, so uh, 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 before Sarah left, she took her horn of blasting, and she Jerry Rafferty a a... Uh, 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 a hole in the side of the boat that was uh, kind of uh, coating the the shoreline with a flamethrower. So uh, she stunned the dude that was shooting at you guys, uh, and she opened a hole in the side of the boat, uh, but it's still uh, up there. There's uh, some smoking corpses behind you. Uh, Hug's spell is no longer in effect because the illusion was broken when the flames went through it. So uh, uh, here's what's going on right now. Um, the ship... Uh, you hear some shouting from the two guys that are still up there. There's a dude with a telescope and the guy driving. Here's some shouting, and you see this boat kind of uh, start to make a weird, hard turn, mm-hmm. and uh, it's coming straight towards you guys, like it's gonna, like it's gonna beach itself. It's kind of what we wanted. Yeah. Um, just so I know, like, how far are they from? Uh, so the beach. How far are we from the beach? Let's say that, let's say that these guys right now are a hundred yards away. Oh, okay, they're just making a turn to start coming towards you guys. Uh, so, uh, how far back is the, are the trees from the beach though? From the uh, another fifty yards, I'd say. Oh, okay. So there's there's like you know the the banks of the river. Uh, there's you know 
10, 20, 30 yards of mud that turns into grass then into like bushes and trees. Okay. So you're on a river bank or, or a, a harbor bank kind of a thing. What do you think? You think we should stay kind of covered like we are or just fucking run down into, uh, mm. uh, you know, the wide open and try to fuck them up? I say we stay where we are until they they beach the boat and get okay. out. Okay. Cool. We're uh, we're in defensive positions, uh, you know. It's as kind of hidden as we can be, just like we were with the other people. All right. I'm not in a tree, but I'm by a tree. Okay. Uh, so you see this boat sort of turn, and it starts to pick up some speed. Jug, jug, jug. More smoke pouring out of this thing. Maybe there's even guys in the in the bottom, like shoveling coal into it. You don't know. Okay. Uh, you do notice that the, as it gets closer, the smoke is kind of reddish, like dark red, rusty mm-hmm. colored smoke. Everything's red. Uh, uh, this thing starts coming towards you. It's picking up speed. And you can see the uh, uh, the dude in the front with the telescope puts a telescope down, and he pulls a sword out. And you can see all this. And he's just big smile, just looking at, looking at the beach. He's ready to go. <coughs> Mm. Uh, there's a weird crunch, I and uh, uh, Sarah also set traps. <coughs> she used both of my grenades that I handed her, or did she just use one? Just one. Okay, I would ask her to try to use that second one. All right. Do you want to roll for her? Sure. She, uh, so uh, Lyra takes her ring of telekinesis, takes a little uh, uh, stone of uh, bead of force in her hand. Uh, of course, I drew a four. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I'm rolling for her. Uh, roll a percentile. <coughs> Two ten sided. Oh, okay, cool. What was that? Oh, uh, uh, the eight. Roll that again. That's an eight sided. Oh, shit! I thought, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, this one. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. This one. Oh, I fucked up. Sorry. Okay. So uh, uh, this bead goes out, and there's a huge. Uh, there's a. Uh, uh, it it looks like it maybe just zips into the water and right in front of this boat. There's a huge explosion. Uh, water every place, and uh, uh, but not a drop to drink. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Water, water everywhere. I was too tired to lean forward and say that. (laughs) I was already leaning forward. (laughs) Speaking of that, I met Lita Ford the other day, leaning forward. (laughs) Leaning forward and leaning forward, leaning forward and Lita Ford sound a lot alike. When you smoke as much pot as I do. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because I smoke that much pot and they don't sound that much alive. <laughs> really? <laughs> Leaning forward and Lita Ford? I can see it. Uh, well, you know, I, I could see uh, Lita Ford uh, uh, sounding like that car dealership, Lita Ford. Yeah. Well, you won't <laughs> get a lemon. <laughs> I made her want to close her eyes forever. <laughs> I creeped close her out. Close your eyes. Uh, so uh, uh, you see this uh, uh, this grenade go off in front of the boat. There's a huge spray of water, and you, uh, uh, you're thinking, "Oh, this is going to be awesome! This we totally smoke this boat." Uh, then the uh, the bow of the boat just kind of comes chugging through the the explosion, mm. and uh, the dude on the front is still. Uh, he looks like he just kind of took a bucket of water. Took look, he took the ALS challenge. Fuck. But uh, uh, he's still got his sword out, and he's still looking, and he can start to see movement. He's st- looking in your general direction. And uh, mm-hmm. uh, so it looks like they're coming right at you. All of a sudden, there's a weird crunch, and uh, the boat stops. All right. uh, they've uh, they've hit a sandbar. The dude on the front with the big funny look on his face just flies over the front railing. Uh, into, oh, awesome! Into the water. So that dude is in the water. The uh, uh, he's uh, disoriented. The dude who was driving, uh, you see him kind of. Uh, Go flying forwards over his uh, controls and stuff. He's still in the in the cockpit. Uh, the dude with the telescope. You don't know what happens. There's water every place, and still nothing to drink. Well, that was the guy with the telescope, right? 
No, but, it was. Uh, you said he put the telescope down. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. You don't see where the uh, the dude uh, that got stunned by the horn of blasting is. Oh, that guy's still alive. Okay. Um, fucking. Should you fire? Uh, Do I have more magic missile? I don't know. You don't have any more magic missiles. Okay. Unless you can hold. If off we can get him into the tree line, because Sarah set snares and, uh, okay. and traps. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's let's stay where we are then and see what happens. All right. I mean, part of me wants to run down there while they're you know while they're gaining their footing, but you know they're fucking ten times the size of us. Yeah. Um, you don't know how deep the water is. That's you didn't true. know there was a sandbar there either. Neither that's true. They, so. Okay. Cool. Let's let's stay where we are then. All right. So uh, uh, you see the dude uh, kind of get up. He's uh, uh, soaking wet. Uh, the water comes up to his knees, so it looks like you kind of made a good decision not to go out there. Uh, and he starts wading in towards the shore. He's still got his sword. Uh, and you see the uh, the guy who was driving kind of regaining his composure and trying to get back up to, to his controls. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, the dude keeps kind of uh, coming onto shore. Uh, he's getting taller and taller as he's coming out of the water. Uh, and he uh, comes onto the shore and starts taking a look around. You guys are still uh, in the woods, right? Yes. Air conditioning. I was, I was about to say. Oh, no, they shut down the main reactors. <laughs> We're doomed. Uh, the guy comes up on the shore and uh, uh, he just uh, uh, he says something really loud and threatening in a giant language that you don't understand. Just <laughs> so it's obviously something like. Uh, Come on, how? Let's go to the coast. <laughs> or something along those okay. lines. I have a few laughs. Uh, let's uh, wait till he fucking trips on some of Sarah's bullshit. Uh, Is he not going to come into the... Should I lure him? Should I run out and, and get him to chase me into the fucking tree? Yeah, pull your pants down and smack your ass a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll put my pants down and play wiener guitar like a little kid and then run into the forest. Oh, my God, you've met my son. (laughs) All right, so uh, winter. That's the only kind of guitar I know how to play. (laughs) Oh, God. Uh, So winter jumps out of the tree and runs out onto the beach and uh, drops trow and uh, pulls out a little... (laughs) Does a little Stevie Vai Oriana. Wouldn't that be number. great if that's how you killed Jerry's character? <laughs> Jerry's like, I've been listening to the show. What happened? Uh, AG jumped out and played Wiener guitar. <laughs> he fucking got killed by giants. Right. Uh, so uh, you jump out and you do a twang, 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 twang. Uh, what song is that? Uh, I think it's a twang, twang, Tesla? sweet. Tesla? <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, play signs surfing with the elf. Uh, so uh, uh, he jumps out, uh, does a little crazy uh, uh, dick number, and this you see the giant look right at you, and he kind of goes, "What the?" F-? Yeah. There's a visible red question mark over his head. Yeah, as he goes, "What the f- fucking guy? You're kidding me!" Uh, and he just sort of uh, uh, takes the sword and just starts walking towards you. And I retreat into the forest yeah. or into the trees. All right. So you guys are uh, heading back into the trees. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, that Lyra threw up a weird kind of a – oh, nice. She threw up a a, a weird kind of a, a trap thing, maybe something that just sort of a, a entangles the ankles. So uh, you see this guy uh, coming into the woods. He's following you pretty closely. Uh, uh, you know where the j- wire is. You jump over it. He goes through it, and this thing comes up behind him and uh, ties his legs together. So there's like a weird th- 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 wank. And uh, what the wah, wah. And uh, uh, he suddenly got his ankles tied together. So he. Uh, How far away am I? Uh, you could probably close to an attack uh, in a round. All right. I'm running towards him. All right. 
Uh, so uh, you got you get up to uh, you get up to him. I want you to uh, uh, roll for initiative. I just want to make sure that he didn't get up. Nine. All right, you totally won that. So uh, take a swing at this guy. He's lying on the ground, but he knows that there's something up. So he's not completely undefensive. Well, hold on. Couldn't read that one. 11. All right. Uh, 11 plus 6. Uh, uh, roll for damage. Oh, shit. Sorry. Do, do, do. Oh, wow. 6 plus 1 plus 6. That's 13. Uh, tell me what you did. He was he was kind of a he had tripped and fallen forward. Uh, his ankles tied together. Uh, did he did he land on all fours? Is 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 he like uh, in the downward dog position? Could I maybe run up his run up him and stab him in the back? Like uh, is he look like facing towards me? Like yeah, is his head I, right here on the ground, or is his head hit or? I'm going to say that you're kind of coming up from uh, that he has sort of uh, his ankles were tied together, so he fell forward. That uh, by the time you get to him, he's up on all fours trying to get back up on his feet. And you come up. Okay, and- so I'm going to run at him and swing at his neck or his face, just try to uh, injure his, the front part of him as much as I can. Okay. Decapitate that motherfucker. Yeah, try to. You know, uh, if I could cut his head off, I would. All right, you go up and. Uh, uh, you take a swing at him. Uh, you don't really. You get maybe a piece of his ear, Ugh. and a, uh, and a nice slash down the side of his head and scalp onto his neck and maybe into his shoulders a little bit. Okay. Uh, but uh, but nothing really. But he's got to be pissed. Yeah, he got. Yeah, you just you kind of nailed him pretty hard. Cool. Can I run up and and try and jab my quarterstaff in his eye? Uh, yeah, you could do that. <laughs> Well, let me do that. Okay, uh, you need to roll. Uh, fucking decap, de- debilitate this guy. First, uh, DiCaprio him. Do you want to roll your attack first or your dex check first? Brian, what should I do? <laughs> Why has he got to roll a dex check? To make sure that he can get up into a position to, to uh, okay, to yeah, roll try your dex. Step. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do I need? Uh, Twenty. Uh, eight. All right, that's cool. That's a dex check. You get yourself in a position. Roll for attack. Nine. Uh, Ten. Eleven. Twelve. <laughs> uh, so you get into position and you... Uh, you uh, Hey, roll a, roll a four-sided. Three. Three. Uh, so uh, you kind of go up. You try to uh, uh, you try to stick your thing in in his eye, your quarter staff in his eye. But uh, uh, he's kind of moving around. Uh, uh, you don't really uh, uh, you can't really get too close. You end up uh, sort of sticking it uh, uh, up his nose, <laughs> and he kind of kind of does that weird like, <laughs> like if somebody takes a culture where they stick a thing up your nose, yeah, and you yeah. have that weird like not expecting it. Uh, you stick your quarterstaff up his nose like a giant Q-tip, and he kind of does the weird recoil. Uh, it looks like it actually hurt him, and he starts sneezing and, and making the weird fniff, 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 fniff. <laughs> um, would, uh, would Hug or uh, Lyra uh, take a shot at him? Uh, Hug did what? Hug did the uh, – uh, he had the illusion going on, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hug is uh, – uh, you see Hug up. Come up behind this guy, and uh, uh, let's just say, for the sake of comedy, just tries to grab his balls. <laughs> okay, no problem with wow, that. Wow, he's in- I like that kind of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> That's he's my ins- favorite. He's also insanely successful. Yay! Nice. So, uh, uh, where's that? Take that balls. <laughs> where's that shocking grasp? Sorry, I'm looking up shocking grasp here. Oh, he shocks and grasps his balls. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, so not only did he get a Q-tip up his nose, he's getting uh, the shocking balls. So uh, 1d8 plus 2 points. So, uh, oh, uh, 1d8 plus uh, 4 points because he's fourth, or 3 points, so. Uh, 
six plus three, it's nine points. And you did how many points with that last one? Three. Eleven. Okay, oh, cool. Steve, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh And I did didn't I do six plus one? I did thirteen, didn't I? On the last thir- time? Okay, yes. so thirteen plus three plus six. Is, uh, no, it's twenty-three. Uh, so uh, you see this. Uh, uh, he howls in pain because uh, uh, Hug has uh, just sent these uh, weird purple conduits of electricity up his ball sack. <laughs> so uh, you hear this weird, <laughs> and everything smells like fried balls. Mm. Uh, uh, and the guy is uh, uh, wincing in pain. He drops his sword. Uh, he doesn't look like he's uh, really in any position to do anything, but he's uh, he's still alive. Right. And did Lyra do anything Not, this round? Not yet. No. What do you want Lyra doing? Uh, what? Crossbow? Yeah, sure. Uh, somebody want to roll for to Lyra? face. <laughs> All right, so Dag's going to roll for Lyra. Crossbow to the face. Nine, right? Oh, wait. Oh, it's that one. That's six. a six. Yeah, uh, so uh, Lyra just lost a crossbow bolt. Yep. <laughs> uh, so that's her attack. Uh, basically nothing. So uh, I'm going to roll to see. All right. Uh, this giant stands up. Uh, he gets back to his feet somehow. He leans down. He picks up his sword. And uh, he looks down, and uh, uh, the first person that he sees is Dag. And he raises his sword over his head, and uh, he comes down, and uh, it gets caught in a tree, like the weird uh, cross branch of a tree, uh, right over your head. Mm -hmm. And stops. So uh, he managed to take a swing and a miss. I like it. So, uh, uh, what do you want to do? He's doing what? I'm going to stab his fucking face off. Take his kneecaps off. <laughs> it's your thing, man. Well, he's below me, or I'm below him, right? Yeah, so I'm going to try to take him down. All right. Fuck. Six again. So another six. Yeah. So that's six plus six. This that's... thing is fucking stupid. You gotta, you've you got a frost even... brand, so, uh, uh. You just hear a weird, uh, you hear a weird howling, and uh, 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 and the end of your sword. There's a couple of weird electrical sparks dancing, because uh, your sword just sort of like cut his ball sack in half right between his balls. <laughs> this time you missed the balls, but you split his sack. Oh, open. ouch! So now uh. his sack is his balls are free balling. Mm. His balls are going commando because there's no sack. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just playing to the demographic. <laughs> so uh, you also hear a howl of pain, and there's also bright red blood dripping down from his ball sack. Nice, on you. I love it. Yeah, so you're, it's like you're doing a. Uh, fla- Is it raining blood? <laughs> yeah, it's like a flash dance thing. Oh. What a feeling! <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing a little Jennifer Beals yeah. in his ball blood. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Well, let's finish him so we can, because uh, we're over an hour. All right. But, uh, Who wants to do it? It's get... probably not going to take much. What do you got? I still just have my broadsword. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Or your quarter staff. My quarter staff. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, Lyra moves in. Yeah. And she's, uh, she's got a sh- she's got a short sword or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lyra's going to move in. She takes a swing. Uh, that connects, uh, uh, even because there's not really a whole lot of resistance. Uh, and uh, uh, after she pulls the sword out, she swings around and uh, sinks it in again right into where his kidneys and pancreas would be. And uh, the guy kind of howls and grimaces, and then there's a weird thump, and the guy falls dead in front of you. Yeah. Cool. So uh, here's okay. where you got. Here's where you guys are. Just quickly. Where are those other two assholes? Uh, there's a uh, there's a beached boat with a captain and a dude uh, that you don't know that was running a flamethrower that's still on it. They're still out in the water. Okay. Uh, there's a dead giant at your feet. The trap that Lyra had set uh, had caught the guy, brought him down. So uh, you guys are whatever damage you've sustained, whatever spells you've used. Uh, there's still a few guys left on the boat. That's where we are. Okay, cool. Thanks for listening. 
Yeah, I uh, will be. God, where? Uh, it's the week of uh, Halloween. Oh. Oh, I'm on your show. I'm on uh, at midnight on the 29th. Oh, with cool. me. Yeah, with you. Yeah, oh, shit. Shit. Oh, it's going to yeah. be so good. It's going to oh, be so awesome. fun. Did we, is Aisha Tyler the third yet? Do we know? I don't know if she's confirmed. Uh, I, know uh, that, that I think would be so, great. actually. I've yeah, known yeah. Aisha a long time. Yeah, she's fantastic. So funny. Uh, so cool. Uh, hey, that week, uh, uh, I think. Do you we- remember when she just showed up at, uh, uh, I remember her showing up one time at um, um, the comedy club that we used to, right around the corner from my house. Oh, Holy City Zoo. Uh, Holy City Zoo. And it was just like, who is that? Like, the yeah, most she's good. stunning girl to ever try to, you know, <laughs> to do stand up. Uh, that was a hoping mic. <laughs> yes, uh, that's where I will be. Oh, and uh, and I'm I'm going to be up in Toronto and uh, London, Ontario, on the second, uh, first and first and second of um, November. Uh, Brianpassain dot com always for uh, tour dates. And Brianpassain dot dot gov for what his mail delivery schedule. Yes, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, Pick hey, up Deadpool and whatever books uh, Jerry Duggan is writing. He's uh, currently writing Hulk. He's doing Batman, uh, Arkham, um, and Little Lotta thing. Yeah, wow, Little Lotta Blaine. Really, <laughs> he's doing Dot Polka. Uh, uh, hey, Halloween week, I'm hosting a uh, Lucha Vavoom at the Mayan. Uh, always fun. The, the 29th and 30th, and uh, I think the 25th is that. That might be the week before. If you can still sneak it in. Uh, if you like uh, Mexican wrestling and tits and Blaine, you'll love <laughs> Lucha that, Vavu. Uh, in that order. <laughs> uh, hey, my band, the Tulsa Skull Swingers, are going to be playing at the Tenacious D Festival, uh, Festival Supreme. Oh, on the, really? On the 25th. Yeah, Good that'll be fun. Guys, man. And, uh, and the 31st, the Tulsa Skull Swingers at Our Bar in Koreatown, and then at midnight goes to New York City for a week. Cool. Fun. All right, um, uh, thanks, you guys. Thanks again, Steve. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. This has been an Earwolf Media production. Executive producers Jeff Ulrich and Scott Aukerman. For more information, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf Radio. Boom.com.